Hello YouTube, we are on our way to Night of the Troglodytes, baby, and uh, Natalie's driving. And it's raining, but we're still gonna have a good time, we're still gonna be chilling, and uh, yeah, gonna look at some choppers. All right, we're here, look, <laughs> choppers. There they are, you see them? Choppers and troglodytes. Nikki Six is here, oh my oh, god! <laughs> There's Kyle. <laughs> nice. Okay, this just in. Kyle objectifies bikes. Get out of here. Stop <laughs> it. Hates women. Hates women. You heard it from Nikki, Nikki Six. <laughs> yeah, Nikki Six. <laughs> October 22nd, 2022, of this year, of this month, in this dimension, we're throwing a chopper show. Hardtail Halloween, baby. Uh, VFW Post 308. Come out, have a good time, see some choppers, eat some barbecue, shop some cool stuff from people vending. So, if you want to show a bike, DM me on Instagram. Here's the official flyer. My Instagram is Rich P. Mifflin. And, uh, yeah, just come kick it. Have a good time. Cheers. And oh yeah, if you're wondering where Jesse has been in all of my videos, I gotta spill the beans to you. The truth is, Jesse left me. <sighs> yep, straight up, just, just left me, just like that. But there's a good reason for it. So, story time will, will rewind back to 2014, our freshman year of college when we first met. Jesse and I did Air Force ROTC together, and we were roommates throughout all of college and whatnot. Um, long story short there, he ended up in the Air Force, and I ended up in the Army, but that's a story for another time. Anyways, Jesse and I are both pilots. We both fly airplanes, and we were both in pursuit of military aviation. Jesse was a mechanical engineer in college, and uh, he ended up becoming an active duty engineer in the Air Force, but um, we were both pursuing military aviation in a capacity at the same time as well. Me and the guard and him active duty still. He ended up getting picked up by the Air Force for an active duty pilot training slot and he is currently in Columbus, Mississippi right now uh, learning how to fly the T-6 and then maybe the T-38. I don't know if he wants to be a fighter pilot or yet not. But um, yeah, that's the deal. He got picked up before I did. Hopefully I get picked up soon as well and I'll be, uh, I'll be down there flying them good old Uncle Sam jets. But yeah, that's where Jesse's at. So he's living his best life, and uh, yeah, that's what's up. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. I pulled the generator out, as you can see, and um, my main concern was going to be the brushes or the armature. And it turns out that the brushes still have some pretty good movement in them. I mean, it doesn't seem bad at all. And the armature looks really good as well. So, I mean, I rewired all of the uh the wires that go to the generator the other day and i mean everything is a single connection it all looks pretty good so if after i take this generator out and do some mild maintenance to it it still isn't charging uh well, first of all i'm gonna put the generator back together charge the battery up and then see how well it spins after it's been charged up so i'm gonna do that now okay first things first let's test the battery Battery should be charged well enough. All right, yeah, good enough, 12.86. Okay, internet, I'm about to test this generator in the absolute most ghetto way possible. Please, I beg of you, do not try this at home the way I am currently about to try this. Get yourself some better material, get yourself some better equipment, like some gator clips or whatever, but anyways, point is, 
Um, I got my generator here. Uh, I got my battery hooked up, got 12 volts. I got my field grounded and I got my ground here. So in theory, what should happen is when I touch this hot to the armature, the generator should spin. And if it spins well, that means it works. So here we go. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> look at that, it spins. Not really any hangups. It looks like it's spinning pretty well too. So I mean, it, the generator is okay. Now that I've tested the generator after I rebuilt it, and I didn't film any of it. Basically, I just like cleaned out the insides of it and whatnot. I didn't end up replacing the actual armature itself because I thought the armature looked pretty good that I pulled out of there. The brushes were fine too. They had great movement. Um, really, I just cleaned out the inside. There was a lot of carbon in there and just some soot, just general like dirty whatnots. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna install the generator again and hook everything back up. The battery's fully charged so the bike will start. But now the real test is seeing if it charges. I mean, if it doesn't, then I don't know. I gotta go back to school or something at YouTube because that's where you learn everything. But that's what I'm gonna do now. Reinstall the generator. Generator's back in, battery's back in, everything's hooked up. Next thing to do, I got the multimeter in hand. We're gonna test and see if it's charging the battery. So first things first, I'll just make sure the bike is neutral and it is okay um, just get a quick read on the battery see what we're working with here should still be pretty charged and it is yep we got well over 12 volts here all right I should have well over 13 volts when the bike is up at RPMs right there to the battery. And I still only have like 12.4. So. Uh, 